If your doctor wants to find out a little bit more about your heart, they might want to have a look inside. Fortunately, we don't have to open you up to do this, as we can use sound waves to find out what's going on in here. This is called echocardiography, or echo. There are lots of ways to do an echo. We're going to have to leave some of these for another video. The most common type is from outside the body and through the chest, called transthoracic echo. And to show you, all I'm going to need is an echo machine and a willing volunteer. Most people will have this done as an outpatient. The machine we've got here today is a semi-portable ward-based machine. Yours might be much bigger or much smaller, but in essence, they all use a probe like this to sound out the inside of your heart. Let us know what medication you're taking. Depending on the type of echo, we may need to alter some of it temporarily. You'll need to remove the clothing on your chest and wear a gown. You'll get some stickers placed on you so we can detect your heart's electricity signal, or ECG. This helps the echo machine get well-timed pictures. We use jelly to help the probe see inside, which can be a bit chilly initially, but not for very long. At this point, we might ask you to change your position a few times, or take breaths in and out to help with the clarity of the picture. Sometimes to improve the image, we need to push a bit harder. And if you have a tender chest for any reason, this might get a bit uncomfortable. Most people feel no discomfort at all during the procedure, but let us know if you're feeling anything untoward. You may hear some noises from the machine. That's the machine tracking your blood flow and is a normal part of the test. The scan can take as little as five minutes if we're looking for something specific or 20 to 30 to get a lot of data. The time taken shouldn't worry you that something is wrong. Because we use sound waves rather than radiation and we stay outside your body, this test poses a very low risk to you. It's also perfectly safe in pregnancy. It's the same technology that we use to scan unborn babies. After the scan is finished, it can take some time to interpret the results. Your technician might tell you something immediately, but results are usually interpreted within 24 hours. There might be a period of further discussion with your heart doctor. The person doing your scan should be able to tell you when results would be out. So there it is. It's quick, low risk and pretty comfortable. All you have to do is lie back on the couch and for the most part, we'll do the rest.